everybody, Cryptic X from Decentral Technologies. Today I'll be speaking about the T19. Um, so with the 19 series, Bitmain manages to stay relevant. They still manufacture today about 70% uh, of the um, hash rate you know, that's being deployed out there. Uh, with the 19 series, Bitmain fixed a lot of the issues they had with the 17 series. Most notably, the heat sinks. Uh, when the chips they become hot, there was a lot of issues where the heat sinks would fall off. Uh, either with the soldering or either with the glue from the older models. Uh, that's an issue they fixed with the 19 series where they have um, slapped on heat sink, a common heat sink that covers most of the chips. You have two uh, per ash board and those heat sinks are screwed onto the board itself. So you don't have that issue where the heat sinks fall off. Uh, so that fixes a lot of the issues. In that case, it's a T19 that we did fix. Uh, there was some, uh, some issues with some chips. It still happens sometimes. But uh, all in all, it's a good machine. It runs well, it runs stable. That's a, a fact with the T series from um, Bitmain. You know, they're generally more stable. So this, um, this beast uh, throws about 84 terashes. It's a bit less energy efficient than you have with the S series. Um, but it's known, it's notable for its uh, stability with the T series. So uh, with the T19, uh, 84 terashes, you'll uh, consume about uh, 3,200 watts um, at the wall. Um, it's a unit that uses the same um, chip family than the other 19 series, like the S19 and S19 Pro. They just have uh, less chips. And um, so this one is a seven nanometer design. Uh, you also have some five nanometer design on the 19 series, such as the S19J and S19J Pro.